What's up guys, I'm Mitch with Stone Cold Epoxy. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use our Natural Earth Tones Epoxy Kit. We're going three ounces per square foot for today's project. I'll be your epoxy guide into a world of beauty. All right, let's get mixing. We got our mixed epoxy that's colored. Set my accent colors aside. And we're gonna lay down some brown dye and then dark bronze, ooh, pretty. And some of this copper too. And after melding this, it's gonna look like this could be a finished piece. I'm gonna layer this bad boy with y'all today though. Let's take those colors and meld them out. I'm gonna spread this out and then coat my edges too at this stage. You're always gonna wanna coat those edges early on. Don't forget to do that. I'm gonna add a little more brown dye to this. Now, let's get out our isopropyl alcohol. We'll give us some big drops, so into the hand. Bigger drops and some light drops. Now that is a piece all on its own. What does my beautiful friend and colleague says, Rhonda, let's take this up another notch. Let's add in a little ribbon of white mica here. I'm gonna add in a blob here and a ribbon there. Now I'm gonna take this white and meld it in. Bring some of the brown over if it's too much. Tap it out, tap it out. Come walk it into other areas. Let's bring in a little bling, guys. Let's bring in some diamond dust. So diamond dust comes in a clear, so you could really in incorporate it into the colors with your fingertips to add a little shimmer shine. You can also do fracture lines of the diamond dust, which are cool but it can take over pretty quickly. I really love the diamond dust. Get rid of any air incorporated while melding. Now I'm coming back in with a little isopropyl. I'm giving myself little pulls. These Zep adjustable nozzles are really a nice sprayer. As we add the layers and the alcohol, they fight for first place. And guys, I've got goosebumps here. This is just fantastic. I'm gonna bring in a little more of the brown dye because the brown dye is a translucent. So as it lays over, you get some custom unique color blending. Mmm, so beautiful. How about I bring in some white into this brown? We'll leave that one be and we'll compare the two. Let's take this brown and with real light feather, I'm gonna incorporate it into my piece. You really can take more time to get the piece to look the way you wish when you're hand melding. So let's meld these browns and whites together now. I'm just tapping folks too. I'm not really looking to move anything. I'm just blending colors when I'm doing that. I'm gonna bring in a nice patch of white and then I'm gonna float this white over. It's a little too much white guys. So have some brown, come on in and we're gonna cover that up some. It's the neat part of epoxy. And as you layer like this, you get some fantastic pieces. Wow, look at that. We'll come in with the heavy drops. Coming in, bigger drops. Hit that area. The white and browns with the alcohol just come to life. Bring our, our brown in. We're gonna bring in just a wee bit of our diamond dust. I'm gonna bring in our white dye. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's just meld away real gentle. Wow, look at that. That's something. See, if you hit it too much, you're gonna create one color. But when you hit it with the alcohol without over melding, goodness, just beautiful. A little white dye here. Okay, I like that. Just give you your little quartz-like veins. Beautiful. And I like to follow an organic line, like I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna follow that, and then we're calling it quits. One more light misting. That little light misting is gonna get into that diamond dust and just give it that touch of mother nature made me kind of look. You want it more dark, add more dark colors. You want it more light, keep those colors light. 
It's up to you guys. I hope you learned some tips and tricks. Thanks for watching from Stone Cold Countertops. Don't forget, you got this, and we'll see you on the next video.